Hey everybody, Timo here from Basin Dow. It's late here in the States, uh, well past midnight, but it is a uh, hackathon, so what the heck. I uh, just want to say thanks to Sovereign Nature for putting this on. Uh, super excited to see what becomes of it. Uh, thanks to all the sponsors, uh, Ocean Protocol, Unique, Kilt, Odyssey, Kusama. Couldn't do it without you. And also want to send a big shout out to uh, Will Reinhardt, who's a member of the Basin team. Will put a lot of effort, time, thought, and expertise into this, so I just want to say thanks to Will. But Basin Dow basically looked at the problem as a, um, a twofold problem. One, the lease is short term, only two years left, but how do you fund something for the long term? Uh, nature is perpetual or evergreen, no pun intended. So how do you fund that in perpetuity? Do projects that support humans and nature regenerative projects re with regenerative finance. And what Basin came up with is Sitecoin. And Sitecoin is basically a property level NFT that's uh, user generated by different data sets and has some different uh, Web3 refi mechanisms in it to perpetually fund regenerative projects at the site. Real simple, basically you have the site, Ducaval, the piece of property, what happens on the property, and it produces data, whether that be Internet of Things, sensors, soil, MRV, measurement, reporting, verification, you name it, the site produces data, people produce data, and then the data is incentivized in different ways. When that incentive mechanism funds the regeneration and funds the perpetual stewardship of the property. So we did a little test. Uh, we looked at Flickr's API, but you could do this with Snapchat or Instagram or Yelp. Basically, these dots show showed nature, art, water, and just kind of shows the overlap. And you can start to see different trends. In Ducaval, you could actually start to do marketing campaigns around different uh, words like biodiversity or ecosystems or cafe and draw people in. But basically, this is like GIS, geolocation, you know, overlaying different keywords from people. Uh, mentions, pictures on map data. And then you could actually put that into a knowledge graph. This is a shared knowledge graph. Basically, you could have incentivize people to add their data. You can gather public data, but you could also incentivize users to input their data and create graphs like this. And then the graphs can be uploaded to different data oracles like Ocean or some of the new ones that are coming online. But uh, one other thing we looked at is like eco credits and creating carbon credits, biodiversity credits, natural capital credits, social impact credits uh, with MRV, basically measuring the baseline and then seeing what change occurs over time. But then all that data from either GIS, geolocation, people, the crowd, MRV, site specific, whatever can be uploaded to data. It can then be uh, staked and then liquidity can be provided to uh, that data. And then uh, Sitecoin can be minted. And then part of the, of the funding mint would get put in angel protocol or endowment. Uh, endowment is DAO instead of DOW, uh, but those are perpetual funding refi mechanisms. And by creating the principal perpetual permanent evergreen endowment fund, it could actually drive the funds back to the property and users are incentivized to upload data, mint the eco credits, mint the site coin, and the, the cycle continues uh, with MRV on the ground and regenerative funding comes back to the, the project, to the site. And here's just some examples of the positive outcomes that could be created. Uh, Will came up with floating wetlands, which uh, obviously creates habitat, urban biodiversity, and creates sanctuary, but not, not just for nature and animals, but also for, for people. And of course, any good Web3 refi uh, project wouldn't be uh, complete without some good memes. I'll leave you with that. But uh, on behalf of Basin Dow, uh, thank you so much for letting us participate. I'm excited to see all the rest of the other entries. Thank you very much and, and uh, keep on rocking. This is super important work and we're proud to be a part of it. And, and thanks for leading the charge.